above oh, her head. Oh, my God. Yeah. 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 And I was coming down off of volume, and I had no problem steadying myself. Yeah. Oh, no, but for some fine. reason, Stephanie was, again, feet above her head. Well, we're the first time for that. Wow. But anyway, my point is, Chris, <laughs> Especially with Craigie. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is going to be a running joke. Uh -huh. show. Oh, God, yes. I'm not going to let this go. <laughs> yeah, no, he is a total boy. Oh, that's what you said right after that. You were like, oh, my God, look, this golf course is closed. We can <laughs> yeah. go rent ice box and you rub on him, and then you can slide all the way down the... the we, wouldn't that be fun? I was like... What? No, that sounds like a way for a middle-aged woman to injure herself that horribly sounds like before a, vacation. a bike trip. Ice block. Riding 103 miles doesn't sound like a vacation. <laughs> Sliding down ice blocks, that sounds like a vacation. <laughs> oh, no. yes. What? The golf course was closed. We wouldn't have gotten in trouble. Oh, my God. He rides sometimes like down hills with his arms up. He's like, ooh, and I'm like, no. Then I'm like his real wife. I know. Craigie, you'll I did hurt get, yourself. Craigie, yeah, yeah. no. Yeah, I did get yelled at once or twice for that. <laughs> Stop by, it. By her or by, oh, like, my staff. Okay. No, by me. No, oh, I'm just a full time. Like the event the organizer, maybe would yell at you too. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they, they let you do whatever you sign. want. Yeah. Oh no, he's total boy. Oh, running then, after you with forms for you to sign. Then, <laughs> then I'm on my, I'm on the balcony of our hotel. Uh -huh. and I'm wondering, huh, I wonder where Craigie went, and he is uh, going down the water slide repeatedly, doing shots in between. I do that. Each that's uh, vacation. Like, See, it's their fault oh, for putting man. a bar between the bottom of the slide and the top of the yeah. slide. Yeah, Andy comes in first day. I'm just hitting on some 20 year old, 21 year old German babe at the bar. I'm like, booyah, nicely done. My friend. Nicely done, honey. <laughs> Craigie. I'm a very supportive wife. I, yes. I'm supportive of his nighttime exploits. <laughs> oh, it's, God. It's, it's polyamorous. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm a boy too, though. How many, how can you kind of rate the burping on the trip? Cause, oh, yeah. Right? A lot That's more than I was. I was, I was. I was not too far behind. <laughs> it was like a mating call. I knew she was in a five mile radius just by the belching. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's, a, it's like a GPS. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then we did our usual boy talk. Well, how did? Oh, because that's your boy incel to other boys that don't do enough riding. Correct. Remember the whole? Oh, when you get sand in your vagina. Uh huh. Did you tampon loose? Uh huh. Yeah. So we would do that. Like he'd be like, "Make this hill your bitch stuff." Like we, it's just we did a lot of boy talk, a lot of burping, a lot of. You kind of needed that. It was yeah, only, it was if other people didn't do it with a whole ride, we'd be like, it's a lot of sandy vaginas. They didn't like it when we said that to them, though. I, no, they probably don't get not. It. They don't get it. Probably not. You know who does get us? Who? Okay, now it's the love music. Okay, okay this is going to take me. This is going to... I need to settle down for this. You know, I'm, yeah, the, speaking of bike and radio geeks, I had drinks with Bob Seska, who is, ladies and gentlemen, a Greek god. He... Right. Was his wife Steph there? Was a bit taken no, back. he didn't bring his wife, which was even hotter. <laughs> uh, right, Adonis. He is what is he? Six, four, five? Chiseled. He, he chiseled. looks very tall in his pictures. God. Hot body. He's like chiseled. Uh, sunglasses. He arrives at the pool. I'm like, <laughs> 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 smart, funny. Uh huh. <laughs> Sent me a text that made me cry. It was so nice. <laughs> and he didn't bring his wife. Awesome. Okay, it was. It, it was enough to make you question your sexuality. I'm gonna have a hard time with interviews with him now. He is. We have him tomorrow, along with Tina Dupuis. Oh, is it tomorrow? Oh, really? Yeah, That's Tina Dupuis is gonna be here as well. Oh my god! At the same time as Bob Seska. All right. I'm not even to the end of our, our stuff, and look, we're running late already. Yes. Can you stay one more? You can't stay one more no. segment. I no. All right. I, let me. Just... I, I have. I have to go to work. Oh, for God's sakes. His, his boss is he already his, yelling at him. He takes his husbandly responsibilities seriously. Uh, oh, wait, one more, one more. Because we were saying Hawaii is so beautiful, it's already like an acid trip, you know. The oh, yeah. Everything and, around was an acid trip. Right, smells and, you know. And so we, <laughs> we're riding a how many miles, and we ride by this little zoo, and we like to call it the That's, that's So Random Zoo, yeah. because we're like, do we just see a buffalo, a longhorn cow, and a zebra? <laughs> what? <laughs> right on the side of the road. <laughs> All right. It's the most random just little hanging zoo. out. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, one quick one about Craig, because he is uh, very Christ-like. There was a guy walking barefoot along the street, remember? Oh. And you stopped yeah. and gave him some of your water. Right. Yeah, he was Right, out, and the trip leader was like, oh, my God, that was so nice. Aww. And I was like, well... It is what Jesus would do if Jesus was on a fancy bike trip where he knew he had fan support and that there would be more water in a couple of miles just, for him. Yeah. I mean, it is what Jesus would. Although I think Jesus would probably select a multi-sport and not a bike trip. And probably have not Maybe given hiking. water but wine. Right. You would have turned it to something more exciting. <laughs> yeah. But still, it was very... I just like talking to barefoot hippies on the side of the road.
Uh, All right. Oh, one last one. Our favorite person on the trip was a sex therapist. Dr. Ruth. Her actual name is, well, not that Dr. Ruth. But every time she took a group picture of people, she said, say dildo. <laughs> she did. And she uh, told us that she had to watch uh, hardcore porn to desensitize herself for her clients so that, you know, when you're sitting there, she wouldn't go. You like to go. <laughs> Christ, what a freak. You know, she like had she to, had to watch fetish porn. It was right, a, she had to watch like hardcore it, stuff. So no matter what somebody says in therapy, she doesn't go. Get well, well, there's Jesus. a difference between hardcore and fetish porn. It, I don't. I, it was she with, had to watch everything so yeah, that she doesn't overreact in a group of like several hundred people on a big screen at a conference. Oh, right. To make it even more uncomfortable. Right, because okay. they have to keep that poker face no matter what you sure. Say. Right. All right. So a good time was had by all. Pictures are up at uh, Facebook. Uh, Backroads Company, a uh, fabulous uh, pictures are up with Stephanie Militia on Facebook. I love you, Craigie. Yeah, it was a wonderful oh, trip. Yeah. You already. It was the greatest trip ever. Love I know, you. I Bye. know it's too bad we're not back. Oh. Break. Go to work. Okay. I'm off to work. All right. Have fun, uh, show. That's why it's my man. Because he goes off to work and he brings his home to bacon. But not really because he's a vegetarian. Right. All right. This here now? Yes. Okay. This here. It is, it is the Stephanie Miller Show. Welcome to it. 34 minutes after the hour. 1-800-STEP-1-2, the phone number. Toll free from anywhere. Waiting for our representative Maxine Waters. She's in a meeting of some sort. She's busy on Capitol she's Hill there. She's, she's governmenting. something more important to do than talk to you? It's crazy. What? Uh, all right. Uh, somebody sent me a screenshot of the State of the Union, and Joe Biden and Boner do literally look like the comedy yeah. of tragedy masks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we were talking about. Exactly. Who's having fun at the State of the <laughs> Union and who's not? Oh, Boner. Oh. He has such interesting toys. He looks like the Joker. Yeah, it looks Joe like he does. brushed with Smilex yeah. toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> he does look like he's always picking someone up in a lounge yeah. during the State of the Union. How you doing? <laughs> Didn't I see you at a party in Santa Barbara once? Oh, God. Boner, Boner's literally like, <laughs> Bro, someone stepped on my tail. <laughs> Yeah, he's a cowardly lion. Exactly. Except he looks more like Jack Haley, who is the Tin Man. Oh, did you see? Well, originally uh, was Buddy Ebsen. Anyway. Hannity so. was a guest of uh, Gomert, who is kind of a... Uh, Gomert. 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 Yeah, a yeah. little bit of the Gomert. Kyle! Did you see? Because, you know, there's rumors that Hannity might run for something. Ha. Did you see them checking out the Capitol? Yep. They're just, the like, Gomert and him are like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, We're going to have to make this a little bigger for you. Because, you know. Ego. Yeah. Head. Hannity has a big house. Probably smaller than his, his house. Sure. He? Just for his head. He needs a big Fred His Flintstone. His ginormous Fred Flintstone head? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, Gilmert. Um, yes, and as we mentioned earlier, somebody uh, was saying, this is all you need to know. Uh, Michelle Obama greets injured Afghanistan veteran with a smile while Republicans pose for selfies with Duck Dynasty star as yeah, president God. delivers uh, the State of the Union. And that, that pretty much is the State of our Union. Uh -huh. <laughs> pretty much sums it we up. We don't have one. No, exactly. Uh, all right, let's let's uh, let's do some uh, crunchy audio goodness while we wait for mm -hmm. Representative uh, Waters, the president. For several years now, this town has been consumed by a rancorous argument over the proper size of the federal government. It's an important debate, one that dates back to our very founding. But when that debate prevents us from carrying out even the most basic functions of our democracy, when our differences shut down government, or threaten the full faith and credit of the United States, then we are not doing right by the American people. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, say, yeah, shut up. I'm yeah. glad you mentioned yeah. the shutdown. My friend, uh, uh, Michael Tomieski, uh, he, you know, a lot of us liberal partisans would like a little more red meat. And he was saying he liked a lot of parts of the president's speech. But mm -hmm. uh, he was, they, they were comparing when uh, Clinton really focused on the shutdown in uh, his State of the Union. Because mm -hmm. um, I just... I, Honestly, I, I, it is depressing that there is nothing this president's going to be able to get done unless we get rid of this Republican House yep. in in the midterms. I mean, it just it, it's uh, you know. Anyway, oh, and we uh, somebody else. Let's see. Richard said, uh, "Did you see the congressman from Kansas, Hules Camp, who tweeted the president was lawless, and then went on MSNBC and called Rachel Maddow a cheerleader <sighs> to her face?" I, I don't know. Uh, and then did you see the New York Congressman Grimm who threatened yep. the reporter for asking questions about corruption? And we did. Was he threatened to break him in half and throw him over a balcony? Yep. Which led me to stumble into another movie reference, which Chris and Yankton has cleared up. Uh, Steph, <laughs> someone throw someone over a balcony in a movie? You're thinking of the scene from Escape from New York when Lillian Gish dangles Sid Caesar off a balcony right. and yells, the money is buried under the cross palms, mother. And then drops him. Okay, thanks, Chris. Appreciate it.
Then he's I eaten by it. pigs. What's that? No, that's right. Not. And then he's eaten by uh, cannibal, sure. cannibal pigs.